You can't stand that your figures won't stand. What you have to understand is that you don't need a stand to make them stand. Wires help though. Hey yo, my name is Matt and today we are talking stands or more so making your figure stand. I've updated how I make my figure stand, so I thought it would be time to update a video I did a while ago on how to make figures fly. And that one I had talked about using wire and bending it to make a little stand. I also had a request about editing out wires, so I thought I would combine that. So in part two, it's gonna be about removing the wires from your shot. Every time I post a picture and I show the behind the scenes, and if I'm using one of these rigs, I always get questions about them. I do have these listed under recommended tools in the description of this video if you're still interested in these after watching this video. They can still come in handy for certain things, but you don't need them. So this is the update. You don't need to make the stands. It's all about clamps. Can you still make stands? Can you still use the rigs? Of course. But for most of my indoor shots, I've been using this clamp and wire system. This is my favorite wire. It's not the strongest, but it's strong enough. And these clamps, nothing special. You can just find some at a hardware store. There's like the regular ones, kind of like a plastic material. There's some metal ones that might be a little more intense. I even have some of these like tiny ones, which I got these more for crafts and like custom stuff, but like I have been using them a lot with my current setup too, for little things and wires. And yes, I do have the clamps and the wire listed in the description below. Part one, the wire and clamp system. So what you're going to do safely is cut the wire. Just cut a pretty long piece. There can be different variations to this part, but what I have found the most effective is to kind of bend it around the table and then you clamp it down. But before you clamp it, make sure you squeeze the clamp a few times just to make sure it works. You can position this however and either stick it in your figure or you can just have them lean on it a little. I've also used some sticky tack before to help stick it to the back of a figure, depending on the pose. And so this gauge of wire is really good for any ground pose, like it hasn't failed me yet. If you're trying to make a figure fly, this might work for some figures, but I would recommend getting a stronger wire by going up a gauge or two. I'm constantly trying to organize my office and keep it clean. My main table can get very cluttered with all the different figures and diorama pieces and lights and mics and stands. So having the clamps and the wire like just attached to the desk, as well as some of these arms that I use for some of the lighting, it all helps keep it clean looking. I do plan on doing a video over these arms because they have helped a lot recently with holding all the lights. A huge benefit with these wires and clamps is that you can have them connecting to the figure from the side, which will help make our next part very easy, instead of just sticking right up along the figure. One way that we are going to remove the wire deals with having your regular pick with the wire and subject, and then taking a second pick with the wire and subject removed, a clean copy. And this will take us into our next section. Part two, removing the wire. Real quick, thank you to all the supporters and subscribers. I love taking pictures and I love making these videos, but you make it 10 times more fun. If you're not already subscribed, click that button so you don't miss out on the next video. The first way to remove a wire can be done with various editing programs as long as you're able to have layers. This way is popular in stop motion animation. In your program, you need to have both the clean image and the main image with the subject and the wire. You're going to make a layer mask over the clean image, fill it with black or hide it, however your program does it. And then you just brush white over the image on the mask and it will reveal the clean copy, which should remove the wire. You have to make sure that the clean copy and the real copy are aligned exactly the same. So a tripod is necessary. For the second way to remove the wire, you just need one layer. 
Photoshop is really good at this and I know other programs have similar features, I'm just not familiar with them. You need to select around the wire using the lasso tool. Go to edit, fill, and then content aware, hit okay, and let the magic happen. This usually does it perfectly or it might leave 2% to clean up. You can get rid of these pieces by selecting it and either using the patch tool, healing brush tool, or clone stamp. I will definitely be adding to this tabletop system because the potential is limitless for the most part. If you have any other suggestions or questions, let me know down below. Create and inspire.